In this video, I'm going to show you really quickly how you can actually use the Chrome library command. So what I did is that I um, created a small folder which contains the script that I'm going to be using. And in the library, I added the Chrome library uh, there. So usually you have to download the library, just put it in there. And to use it, you just go ahead and grab the URL, usually grab the relative path to it. And I will just include it in my script. So I'm going to go with single instance force first, and then include, and I'm going to include the library. After you do that, then you're good to go. Now you can use the library. And the first thing you want to do is to create a, a variable from that is a new Chrome instance. And the first thing is that you have to tell it a folder that is going to contain your Chrome profile. So before you do that, I usually go ahead and check if that file doesn't exist. So file exists. And if it doesn't exist, then if it doesn't exist, then the file there. Right, so that's what you want to do. Just double check that the folder actually exists. I usually put it right next to the script. I tell it to open um, a specific uh, link and we could just go ahead and use a link like this one here. That's where you can actually download the, the, the library itself. And after you open the profile with that particular page, now you have to tell, you have to create a new variable, what, which I'm going to call page, which is going to contain that particular page. Now I'm going to use the same object we created, Chrome object, and set get page. That is going to automatically open the first page. And in this case, as this is the only page that is open, it's going to grab that one. And after you grab it, this variable is for that specific page. And now you can actually go ahead and uh, do stuff with that page. You can actually have different objects with different pages and you can automate each of them individually. But in this case, just a simple, I'm gonna automate it. The only thing that we need to do is to PG and evaluate, which is a, for, uh, uh, um, a function that we could use to pass JavaScript to our uh, to our page. Now, one of the things that we can do in JavaScript is to go ahead and link something. So go ahead and open this page. Um, let's go ahead and check that link in there. So I'm going to inspect it. And right there with the link is the A, the anchor uh, tag. I'm going to right click it, copy the selector, it's the selector. And now in my JavaScript, I could very well say document dot query selector all, for example. And I have a selector right now copied on my clipboard. I have it right there as I did my uh, selector all that returns an array. So I'm going to select the zero on that array and I'm going to click on it. So now this thing this little script should open the page and click on that um, particular selector. Now, um, whenever you open pages, I suggest you to put uh, right there a weight. So page, that's, that's part of the object, uh, the page object. Wait for load, which is the function that I could use for that. And I'm gonna wait until the page is complete. So that makes it so whenever you are, um, when you, whenever you open a page, it is going to wait for it to be in the complete state first before you go ahead and click anything. Because if you try to click it and the page is not loaded, you are going to get an error. So if I go ahead and run this script, it should open the website. 
And then without me doing anything, it should just go ahead and click on the donate button for me. So as you can see, it's very easy. Um, as soon as you understand the basics of how this um, library works, it will be very easy for you to do a lot of interesting stuff. And um, the only thing is that if you know JavaScript, it makes everything all the better because you already know how to do stuff in the browser. If you don't know JavaScript, you can still use it, but it would be a little bit trickier to get it to work. Um, but yeah, that's it. In this case, uh, just play with it and you should be good to go.